If you're less than 90% of your best, you have to work out to get trainable. You can't, you, you have to be in trainable state always. In other words, you guys will say, hey, we'll have a contest, you guys. Now, is, is, or is this true? I'll say, you say, Louie, I challenge you to a contest in 12 weeks. I'll say, I'll challenge you to a contest in three weeks. And we could go do it. Any time of the year. But a lot of people have to have this long period of time to get ready. We don't. We're constantly above 90%. And you. So you're like, the first year somebody's here, I mean, you're finding a lot of different ways to find the max. Exactly. I mean, it's a very, beginner year is a beginner year. I mean, you're finding the max. Well, we don't have any beginners. Yeah. Right? But, um, yeah, you got beginners can't cope you got here. Yeah, and honestly, <laughs> um, but like he was a 430 in, in a t-shirt and went to 530. Yeah. And all we worked on was his weakness. We found one thing with the arms. I mean, look at his arms. I mean, he got some, you know, AJ, we worked, it was the glutes and the deadlift. We're going, why is this guy in the deadlift seven? Now he can come close to eight. And he's been here basically just a year, right? The, the important thing is, though, too, uh, especially for like those of you competing in the games, like, it's learning phase, so I mean, he's been doing this 25 years since he crossed over from the, the other methods. And uh, so when I come here, I don't have to try to figure out what's best for me. I just work in, and then when I go to the meet, if I if it carries over, it carries over. There's a few exercises like I'm weak on my deadlift at the top, and so like reverse band deadlift, which we'll show you, Louis calls it the future method, doesn't help me because the at the way the bands don't help at the top. So I'm back to straight weight. So exercises like that, you just eliminate from your regime. Um, the same with you guys when you're doing like running and stuff, you'll find like certain distance that don't do nothing won't help. Uh, certain exercises that aren't gonna increase like for, for certain movements. And so over time, anyone that comes in and trains with you, you don't have to put them through that. So when someone new comes here, like we have a new kid moving here, Brandon Lilly squats uh, 950 right now. Um, when he comes here, inevitably he'll squat a thousand pounds within the first year. But that's basically because he doesn't have to think. He just comes in and he looks at every other thousand pound squatter and he can say, okay, I can't do, like, see that glue hand machine set up like that. Matt Smith does. You know, Matt Smith has squatted 1165. Well, if you can't do glue hands up that high, then you're probably not going to be able to squat 1165. So you can process of elimination and just come in and basically copy the next guy. So if I was going to come to a CrossFit facility and I want to compete in the games, I would just follow you around. My loads would be different, but I wouldn't do anything different than you and, and, unless we looked at me and said, really, you need to, you know, obviously, if I came, I'd have to get completely conditioned before I could even do that. But that's how it starts here. When you come in, you just jump right in and you just follow the person, that you, you, the next level where you need to get to. And so it's a really easy system because once you get through that first wave of figuring out what's best, everyone else just fits in. And it's, it sounds silly, but it is just basically a copy of the monkey, you know. And it, all it is is finding your weakness, like you said. Once we establish your weakness, and for me, it's real fast. I mean, I <laughs> remember the first time you come here, you said, everybody comes here, I see you, you, you out deadlift. I said, yeah, I'll deadlift your fat ass too. And you couldn't walk out of deadlift. I go, dude, it's your glutes, because he just flies, his legs is 10 times stronger than mine. You know, it's one area. It's, a, it's, a, it's always the weakest, you know, link in the chain. I'm the only one, uh, two the bumpers, and you wrote books and stack up 15 feet on periodization. Uh, Dr. Medvedev, Angel Spaz off in Bulgaria, the Russians, everybody, they all had these severely blocked cycles of light, medium, heavy loads, and so forth. Well, I go, I don't like to do that. I want to come in, you know, I, you know, we never had a coach, and I want to come in and do what I want to do, yet it's systematic that uh, our volume changes, and we don't even sometimes use a three-week weight. Uh, we come in, I come in to do sets in a deadlift, and the next thing I know, I'm pulling a 530 band record over there with that band. I'm going to do such a two and a quarter. And this joker here, every time he shows up on Monday from Matt Bars Nutrition, we'll talk about nutrition, he always, the only thing he can do is deadlift. So he wants to deadlift all the time. So you know, no matter what you want to do, you're going to have to do some kind of deadlift. See, it's, it, you can do, like I'm, what I'm saying is, I don't have to be prepared. If you're going to try to kick my ass, I get a shovel 10 weeks, I'll, you know, I'm ready now. You, you are ready to break any record you want if you train properly. Any time. Any time you want. Because I have to do it because of these jokers. Right now, boom, you got to do it. And I've had people put their finger in my face and say, we're having a contest right now, and you got to have contest because they can sure kick my ass. Took both and pulled one of those here. I mean, that, this is the way it goes. So you see, and also if people are, uh, you know, you all compete, right? I take it you all compete. There's good competitors and bad competitors. Why don't people participate in sports? Because they're lousy. They don't want to compete. They just want to have a nice, fun time, right? 
They can't compete. They can't get that mind up there. Well, this way, it teaches you, if you're a competitor, to uh, just snap it off. It says, well, big deal. Let's go. You know? And nine times out of ten, you break a record. And what does, but what does that tell you? That, that tells you the training's going right. You know, if you break your front squad record, desert squad, a good morning record, a rack hole record, uh, why wouldn't you break your squad or dead of record? There's no reason to say you're a mental midget. That's the only way it would happen. If you're strong in all areas, you'll break any record you want to break. It's all a cycle. It's all in your mind. Everything's a dream. My dreams turn into nightmares. <laughs>